Classic platform games are far from dead. Even though the graphics for smartphone games have reached amazing heights with games like Real Racing 3, FIFA 14, and Riptide GP2, what's interesting to me is that games look like, that look like they could be played on a 90s era gaming console continue to be popular with today's gamers. A steady stream of retro looking platformer titles have had great success and continue to fly out the App Store most popular lists, relying on a tried and true gameplay that actually works. As a result, there are a lot of ton games for iOS and Android that mimic the look of a 90s era gaming and they're still a ton of fun. With that in mind, today I'm taking a look at the best retro games you can get on the App Store right now for Android or iOS. So the first game is League of Evil for both iOS and Android. This is the type of the game that has you trying to complete levels countless times to grab an item and get to the goal in the shortest amount of time. The graphics stick to an 8-bit style that we had so long ago, but the gameplay is excellent with extremely difficult levels that will have you coming back to make that perfect run. For a similar experience, with updated graphics, you should also check out their sequel, League of Evil 2, but unfortunately this game is only for iOS. Now, the second game on this list is Random Heroes for iOS and Android, and it's also by Ravenous Games, the same developer that made League of Evil. But this time, rather than going for the best time, you'll be jumping through levels while blowing away alien monsters. Random Heroes takes the platformer genre into RPG territory, letting you use gathered coins to buy upgraded weapons that make you look stronger as you progress through the game. Like League of Evil, I also highly recommend the, the sequel, Random Heroes 2, which is also only for iOS. Now, Mikey Shorts for iOS and Android is another great platformer that has you running for your best time while you collect coins and free prisoners from each level. Like League of Evil, in order to be successful at this game, you need to run each level several times. First, to get a feel for where everything is, then to figure out how to fly through it in the least amount of time possible. Now, Beaver Tap Games went on to make a sequel called Mikey Hooks for iOS only, but then decided to switch the gameplay style to mimic more of a swinging game mechanic found in the 90s game Bionic Commando, or more recently on iOS, Hook Worlds. Now the last game that's actually a real retro game on this list is Mutant Muds, which is a new game that adds another wrinkle to the platformer mechanic. It lets you play through levels in multiple dimensions. The way this game works is you'll run, jump, and kill monsters while collecting coins on one 2D level, and then you'll hit a teleport to warp into another level in the background. Although it's difficult to describe, you'll notice that, you know, in, in most levels there is actually a uh, playing area off in the distance that you can warp to. Now, Mutant Muds has less than ideal physics, but once you get the hang of the controls, it's fun to bounce back and forth between the different playing areas, and there are tons of levels to explore and master. Now, as a bonus game that I'm throwing in on this list, it's not a really true retro game, but it's still a ton of fun, is the original Sonic the Hedgehog, which is for iOS and Android. It's been updated with a modern look, so it's not truly retro anymore, it's got a bit too good graphics for that, but you know, it was an original retro game that it really kicked off the entire entire 16-bit uh, era, and it's just as fun today as it was back in 1991. Sonic the Hedgehog is probably one of the best-selling games of all time, and in my opinion, it's probably the greatest platformer that's probably ever come out in the retro gaming period. But let me know what your favorite retro platformer is in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!